this is SharpShot21, and today we are going to go through with setting up the Raspberry Pi for uh, OctoPi, Clipper, a couple of plugins, and configuring Clipper. So, first things first to get started, I've got Etcher open, and we're going to select an image. I'm going with OctoPi Buster. <coughs> Excuse me. SD card has already been selected. Yep. And we are going to flash. It's gonna Windows is gonna yell at me. And it's gonna do that. And that actually is done. So we can close that out. Yes, it said it failed, it didn't actually fail. It wrote it. Okay, now we can open up. This WPA supplicant. And in here, there's a couple of things. We're using a WPA2 network. We want to uncomment all of these. We're using an open or an unsecured network. We're using a web secured network. So we need to adjust this one. So we need to comment back in the United States or the United Kingdom because we're in the UK. Comment out or uncomment the United States because that's where we are. I have a WPA network. WPA2 network. So we're going to do this. And then your password and your SSID go, go in here in clear text. So I'm actually going to drag this off to the side here and make those edits. Close it out. Close our text editor and we're done. Okay, so this is all set to go. We can now close that out. There's a fixed IP address. That way I can go in here and go 1.2.168.1.159. Save it as we're on the 2.4. Save that. And then we can open up a putty setting. Log in. Standard Raspberry Pi login, which will change later. And then we can pull up our Clipper install. Once we're in the Raspberry Pi, let's get clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Kevin O'Connor slash Clipper For whatever reason it didn't like it the first time, it liked it the second time. Now that it's installed Type in this line dot slash clipper slash script slash install dash octopi dash h. We hit enter. Type in the root password for the Raspberry Pi again. And that will install clipper. Okay, now that we're done, clipper is installed. We need to change into the clipper directory. The easiest way to do it is cd dot slash k. Hit tab. It will complete it. Hit enter, you'll change in. Then we need to do a make menu config. Executing this command, this will bring up this menu. We want to hit space, enable low level control, microcontroller architecture. We want to go in here. We want to select the LPC 176X, also known as the smoothie board. It is also known as an SKR 
processor model. LPC 1768 with 100 megahertz. That's correct. Target board uses smoothie wire bootloader. Uh, let's see what that has. USB for, yeah, we'll leave both of those as is. USB IDs, we don't know. Don't need to set that, don't need to set that. Go down, scroll over to exit. Uh, save config, hit yes. Now it's telling me to type make. We will type make. This will build out the board, uh, the board firmwares. We're not quite done yet. While it is doing that, I'm going to open up WinSCP, and in doing so, I'm going to connect to my Octoprint instance that's over here. What this does is this puts a file in Clipper out. And it's called clipper.bin. We need to take that and copy it over. We then can close WinSCP. And I now have clipper.bin. We need to rename this. To firmware dot bin. From here, we take our micro SDs for the SKRs. Plug it in, and oh hey, it has a firmware in it already. That's strange. Ditch it. Take the firmware dot bin and copy it over. Plug one and repeat the process for the next one. Flashing the SKRs is really easy because all you gotta do is put that new firmware dot bin on there, and when you go to power it up, it will automatically flash the new firmware. reconnect to this in a few minutes, but what needs to happen in the interim is we need to take our Pi, plug it back in to our printer, put the two micro SD cards in the SKRs, leave the SKRs unplugged, the USBs unplugged from the Raspberry Pi. This is important. Because what needs to happen is we need to start it up, go through a couple of steps to determine which SKR is which for the Clipper config, and then we can connect them up. Because we need to be able to determine which SKR is which, and in order to do that we need to connect them, ping for a serial number with only one connected, put that into the appropriate config line, and then ping for the second serial number. So let me go get the Pi mounted and the SD cards installed and the whole thing powered up and hopefully we don't burn everything to the ground. Okay, everything is booting up now. I'm going to pop open our control window, our, our browser here. Just wait until 
octoprint is set up and it is so now that octoprint is running we can go next hey it's me with the password and the password will enable access control no I won't save the password because I'll change it later I don't want usage tracking enable the connectivity check because that's handy uh, we'll enable plugin blacklisting this is going to be ron v 2.4 s n unknown model is Print volume, we're going to rectangular, lower left, it has a heated bed. It's a 300 by 300 by 280 build. We'll leave those as defaults for the minute. It has a 0.4 mil nozzle, one extruder. Finish. Finish. Okay, that's done, but we can leave that alone for just a couple more minutes. Actually, no, we are in the right spot. Done with that, done with that. move one of these windows off to the side here so I can see and so you guys can see. So we come up to the settings tab here. We go down to serial connection. We're going to auto connect. We're going to also add a slash tmp slash printer and click save. That's where we want to connect to that part. We go back to the settings tab. Set that manually there. We'll go into behavior. Hit that one on error. Save that. TMP printer auto printer profile. Save connection settings auto connect on startup. We'll hit connect. And we'll dump over to the terminal. Press those and clear that, and we'll hit status. Okay, unable to open HomePy printer config. Okay, that's good because we don't have that yet. Either print is talking with Clipper though. This proves that. So we can jump back to this putty interface, which I need to reopen. Excuse me a moment. Okay, putty's back open. So we are in home slash pi. So we need to make the file for a clipper. So we can do that with nano dot slash printer dot cfg that creates the file from here jump on over to the github go into boron2 firmware clipper config skr 1.3 boron2 skr 1.3 config dot cfg we want to 
copy the whole document. And paste into the terminal, you just right click. Okay. There, it helps if you actually copy it from the web page first. Now, before we do anything silly, hit Control X, hit Y, save it. Now we can go back in here. Everything in blue is commented out. That's fine. Uncomment for 300 mil build. We need to uncomment those. Now we need to uncomment those under the X and Y. We are using Ooh. I forget you have to use the row. Hold on, I've oopsied. So going through this, there's a few things. We have to find this and this. We'll do this in a few in a moment. First things first is the end stops. Uncomment those for the X. And then we're using 2209s for the steppers for X. For the steppers for Y. We come down and we need to uncomment the position end stop and the position max. We then come into this, and again, it's a 2209. Z steppers. This line we will need to adjust at some point, but not right now. We uncomment that for a 300 mil build. And then again, all of these we need to adjust. Oh, actually, we don't. Uh, oh no, we do. Four twenty-two oh nines. if there's anything else we need to do. Extruder. So we're going to leave this at the correct starting distance for the afterburner. We're not using Mobius. Nose diameter is correct. Filament diameter is correct. Pressure advance where it is. Smooth time, I'll leave where it is. And set that for 2209s as well. That should be good. Should be fine. That should be fine. We'll leave this commented in for now because we don't have one. We don't have those yet either. We 
will need to adjust this manually. Because right now it's not there. Or rather, this one will need to adjust. Because it's not there. Oh no, it's this one. We will need to adjust this one. So this and this we'll need to find by hand. That won't be too bad. We'll do that once we get moving. That will put the center of the bed. Gantry level. Comment all of this. Uh, I think. Fine displays now. Depending on what display we're using, we need to uncomment one of these. And we are using the NeoPixel Fistec Mini. So need to uncomment this. So that we have actually text output. anything we need to change. G32 will be our bed leveling. And then move it to the center. Print start, we'll do this. Print end, we'll clear everything out. And these are the thermistor types for everything. Um, so let's go back up and find out what we're doing there. I'm actually going to pop up in a text editor. Because we've got the Kinovo. So the bed one is an N. NTC. Actually, I've got these on the GitHub still. So let's run back up to the speeds, to displays, gantry leveling, homing stuff, fan controller, hot and fan, probe, bed heater. And we are correct for the Kinova. Okay. Let's go to the extruder. Ah, sensor type is wrong for us. Because we are using the NTC 100 K okay, beta 3950. For the moment, that is all we can do. What we will do here is 
go back into our window, type in a firmware restart. I will disconnect it from Clipper. Give it a moment. And should reconnect to Clipper. So we'll hit a status. That's okay, because nothing's it's not able to talk to the controller yet. That's fine. I need to pop putty back open. We're gonna type in clear. Now we want to type in ls dash l slash dev serial slash by dash id slash and it won't go ah, that doesn't exist which is fine now pop open a text editor here and we're going to go plug in the wire the USB from the MCU only. We'll leave the MCU Z for later. MCU only right now. Okay, MCU only should be plugged in. Hit the up arrow on the keyboard and grab that new that command again. Okay, so what we've got now is the character string that's the serial number for the MCU SKR. And we need to copy this down. So it's for, and that's going to be different for everyone. Pay attention to your own. This B00. So what we take the, what we do with this is we hit up three times. That brings us to nano dot slash printer config. Hit enter and we go in here. Oh, hey, look, we have MCU, and it is asking for a serial number. We delete everything after the by path. Take that string that we wrote down into the text editor, copy it, and paste it right there. Now save that. Hit yes, save. Don't delete the one in your text editor yet. Keep that one, because what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the printer and plug in the one for the MCU Z. That's the one with all the Z motors plugged into it, so go grab that one. Now with MCU Z install, uh, connected, hit up arrow twice. That gives us our serial command. And now we have two. For us, we know TTY AMC0, the one that is our first one, TTY AMC1, is our new one. That's not useful though, we need the serial number. So again, it's going to be USB dash clipper F00. And keep in mind, case matters. If it's an upper Bravo, it's an upper Bravo. If it's a lower India or lower Foxtrot, it's a lower. It will make a difference. So up arrow twice, that gets us back into our printer config. We can run this down. Delete everything after bypass slash into your text editor, grab the new serial, and paste it in there. Save it, close it. Now, I like to just do a restart. Excuse me, a reboot, sudo so reboot. After this, just because it doesn't always take too kindly. 
to not being able to connect. You're gonna get an error over here. That's fine. Give it a couple. Give it a minute. I'm also restarting my PuTTY interface. Reboots can take a couple minutes. That's fine. Oh, there it is. Took a minute. Okay. Not because we restarted here. And it seems because we've got now temperatures on at least the Hot end. Bed's being weird. But that's okay. We'll find out what's going on there. We'll do an update in a minute as well. Let's hit status. Clipper is not ready. State is not ready. Why are we not ready? Unable to connect once underlying issue is corrected. Use the firmware restart command to restart the printer. Let's just try restarting it. Okay, so we still have an issue, but it's not telling me what the issue is, so I think it's the bed. So I'm going to open the 2.4 connection again. Clipper, I think, is the one. So I'm going to install some plugins. Plugin Manager. This is handy because it gives you a bunch of useful information. It tells you, hey, this thing isn't a thing.
I might have to go ask for help. I'll be back. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, I think I figured it out. We're not using dev serial by path, we're using dev serial by ID. So we have to change both of those to ID. The beauty of Clipper is you can just go into the terminal and do a firmware restart, and you don't have to reflash the entire microcontroller. Yeah, type in a firmware restart, then you can hit status. Mm -hmm. Still having issues. Clear that and restart the firmware again. Printer's not ready. Clipper host software is attempting to connect. Please retry in a few moments. Clipper not ready. So we're having some issues somewhere, and I don't know where. slash dev slash serial slash buy id slash usb dash clipper I square blah 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 okay so my hunch was correct it was the usb paths here I hadn't typed them in correctly. I fixed that. Problem solved. We now have clipper state ready. If you go to temperatures, oh hey, we have actual temperatures. And that's about the temp my room is right now. If we go over to control, It's not going to do anything because I got to home everything first. We're not going to do that until I'm sitting next to the printer. 
And the reason we're not going to do that is in case we need to turn the printer off. Because the end stop doesn't trigger, or it's moving the wrong direction, etc. We're not going to do that until we're sitting next to it. All this is to do is to set up the Clifford config and set up Octoprint to actually take the um, couple of mods we want and provide us with the correct information. So we're going to go back into plugins. We already added OctoClipper, which is very helpful. Themify is also a very nice plugin. It has some very useful tools, which we'll get to. Terminal commands extended is also a very nice one. Let you write some, uh, put in some macros, so you just hit a button and it does it. Uh, print time genius is also fantastic because it gives you better print time estimations for G-code over what Clipper does. I found them to be very accurate. Close that all, we'll restart the server. We'll go, yeah, the server's offline. We'll go, yep, yeah, that's fine. Reload it. Only takes a couple minutes. And oh, hey, Themify is already working. So, what Themify does, if we go into plugins, down to Themify, enable custom theme. We're on Discord. Enable customization. We're going to actually change the nav bar to a nice deep blue to match. Whoops. A nice deep blue to match the printer. You can change everything here. There's multiple themes built in. I like Discorded because it's a nice dark theme. We'll save that. Now, one other thing I want to do is on appearance. We're going to change this to forum b2.4 s n I don't care. Save that. When that changes up here, So we know what printer we're looking at. I'd like to match my Themify theme color-wise to my printer's themes. So main theme, main color is the main page, accent is the header. That's it for this one. Everything should be in order. If there aren't, if it isn't, I'll put an addendum on this. And then the next video should be putting the panels on. So we will do that in a bit. Thanks for tuning in. Sharp's out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out, and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel, and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.